Hello, this is your musician friend, AK, coming at you with the songs that you love to hear and play. Today's song is, What Do You Want the Lord to Say? And that is by B.B. Winans. And of course, it's a nice little upbeat song that we can get into on today. Guys, this song was requested by Fizz3939. Fizz, thank you so much for requesting such an awesome song for us to get into on today. And you know what? Uh, let me show you something real quick before I start. That's what I'm working with right there. Got my natural spring water. All right. Let's see what it tastes like real quick. Let me get into it. Mm, it put a spring in my step. Thank you. Thank you so much, spring water. Guys, I would love for you to go to your favorite refrigerator. Grab your favorite beverage. Head on back to your favorite keyboard. Sit down at it. And let's learn what your favorite instructor, me, AK, on today. Guys, before we start, I would love for you to hit that like because when you hit that like, it brings more people to our channel. Bam, I see you just hit it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, we're in the key of B flat. That is B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat. Of course, this is numerical melodies. We have to run through that with our numbers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. We have the great BB Winings in the building. He's going to come through and sing for us. And before he sings, we're going to go ahead and stretch our knuckles, crack them. All right, I think we're ready to receive BB Winings. Let's get it. Let's give it up for BB Winans. To all my numerates, let's take this time out and count our numbers. Easy song, guys. We're going to get through it. So this song starts off with, What do you want the Lord to say? Let me start off with that. All right, so we're starting out on this B flat dominant seven. And we're doing this very cool bass walk. We're going. It's in most gospel, uh, traditional gospel songs. So what that is, is we're playing one, three, four, I flat, five, six, seven flat, seven, and back to the one. All right, when we get to the four, we're playing this E flat major chord. Then we're going up to our five flat, and we're playing this D flat diminished seven chord, going to our five, which is a regular B flat chord. So if we put it together, that sounds like, what do you want the Lord to say? The next part. 
that line is G, B flat, C. We're going to our seven in our bass. We're playing this nice little cool chord here. Then we're going to our three. Then we're playing this cool chord. Now we're going to our six. What do you want the Lord to say? Let me give you that. We're on the six. We're playing this B flat six chord. We're walking our way up to the two. When we get to the two, we're playing this C dominant seven chord. Then we walk our way up to the five. When we get to the five, we're playing a F dominant seven chord. I like to do this turnaround. That turnaround is two, and we're playing this C dominant seven chord, going right back to the F dominant seven on the five. Then they go, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Let me give you that. We're on the five. We're playing an A flat seven chord. We're walking our way up to the one. When we get to the one, we're playing a B flat 13 chord. Then we're walking our way up to the E flat, which is our four in our bass. On the four, we're playing this E flat dominant seven chord. We're going to our five flat in the bass, and we're going to our D flat diminished seven chord. All right, the rest of it. Let me give you that. Regular B flat chord, walk our way up to the six flat, going to the six. On that six, we're playing this chord. Let's start B7 flat five chord. Going to our two flat, to our two. And in the right hand, we're playing this nice little chord right here. Almost like a C dominant seven chord. And we're going up to our five flat. Now we're on our five, and we're playing this chord right here. Approaching our one and going right back to our B flat dominant seven chord. They have a nice little turnaround. All right, what is that? Going to our B flat dominant seven on a three bass, E flat major in our right hand on the four. Going to our D flat diminished seven chord on the five flat. And going to our regular B flat chord on the five. And our turnaround is right there with our A7 flat 5 chord. Then we just started over. So all together, what we play this, what do you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? Well done, thy good and faithful servant. that turn around and then back to the beginning guys if that's all we played that's enough we did it <laughs> we played a song but of course this is numerical melodies we have to add a couple more things and make it spicy right so i can give you a couple things so we can go what do you want the lord to say let me give you that so when i approach my one I do this chord I'm on the five flat all right I'm playing an a flat seven flat five chord all right now I'm going to my seven in my bass and then I'm playing this chord now I'm on the three and I'm playing a G flat seven flat five chord then we're going to this regular B flat on the six and also uh, of course, we got to do this. All right, let me give you that. That is regular B flat chord. We're going to our G flat, G, back to the G flat, F, E flat. Then we're spelling out this chord. Okay, what is that? That's E, G, B flat, D flat. Then we're going to our C, B flat, G, B flat. 
Okay. Let me do it in slow motion. Five, six flat, six, three flat, two, our five flat, five, seven, one. So all together it sounds like this. Practice that. Take it at a very slow pace, and I promise you, you can get it. Guys, this will conclude our lesson. I hope you really got something from it. Awesome lesson. Today's life lesson is protect what is valuable. I recall being young and doing yard work. My brother and I would always take turns in doing it. There was one particular time it was my turn to cut the bushes. I proceeded to cut the bushes, and for whatever reason, the trimmer stopped working. I caught myself fixing the trimmer and touched the blade. Blood everywhere. I rushed in the house and bandaged my hand up and lost a fingernail in the process. The trimmer originally stopped working because it was a piece of wood that was jammed in it, and I guess my finger lodged it out. I learned that you should be very careful with electric equipment at all times. Protect what is valuable. Awesome job, guys. Let's give ourselves a hand. I want to thank you for coming in and joining us. Thank you for being a part of this awesome community. I would love for you to continue to share and continue to like the content because it brings more people in and we can spread the word out more effectively. And guys, we have a Facebook page. I would love for you to go and visit awesome content up there. I would love for you to go and check out Numerical Melodies on Facebook. And tell your friends about it. It's me playing all the songs that I love to hear and play. I hope you do as well. And you can probably catch on to a couple of them. We have a bell. I would love for you to hit that bell because a video that is new is coming right to you. There is a subscribe button. A lot of people tell me it takes an hour. Some even say it takes a day to hit it. I think it takes three seconds. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Bam! I see you just hit it and you just hit the bell. I really appreciate it. Guys, last but not least, this is Numerical Melodies. You're not just playing the music. You are the music. This is AK signing off.